I think we can all agree that, on average, college food is disgusting. It's pretty much a stereotype at this point that college students eat poorly, eating fast food, ramen, and Hot Pockets almost every day. So I thought to myself, what if I challenged this mediocrity? What if I had three people compete to create the best stereotypical college meal possible? and I be the judge. Yeah, that would be crazy. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe. All right, do you know why you're here right now? I do not. Do you know why you're here right now? Maybe. Do you know why you're here? The three of you are going to be competing to create the best stereotypical college meal possible and first place gets a prize. I will be scoring you on three things equally weighed. Taste, creativity, and presentation. Do you understand? Maybe. Do you understand? Sure do. Do you understand? Where are we getting the materials? We're going to stop and shop. Like, like a field trip? We're, we're having a field trip. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? I want to kill myself. Question, is the supplies coming out of our pockets? No, it is not. Oh! Okay. Let's go. Right now, I was actually tough. <laughs> like the puppy. You know that show? Yeah. Jerry Train? What? He's the puppy. Jerry Spencer Trainers. Black Carlin? Jerry Trainer is tough. He's the puppy. Have you ever heard his voice? <laughs> Not in the past 14 years. Oh wait, I forgot my wallet. Wait, that's, Come that's on. not good. <clears throat> He's like from Ratatouille, bro. Thanks. Do you have any idea what your meal is going to be? I got two. Am I allowed to say them? Yeah, go ahead. I either want to do like a grilled cheese or chicken and rice done wrong. Do you have any ideas what you're going to be uh, making for your meal? No! Do you have any ideas of what your meal is going to be? I feel like I need a little bit more details about the budget and the cooking conditions before I can have any ideas. Guys, that's actually where we're going, but they don't know yet. Are we ready for the two things that will influence your entire shopping spree? Sure, I guess so. The first thing, you guys have a collective budget of $30. So we each get $10. I mean, it depends on however you want to split it up. Next thing, since this is college meals, most college meals are not cooked on a stove. No stoves, but you can use a microwave. <laughs> That's it, go, run. Oh, also guys, just to let you know, um, he's banned from the stop and shop. <laughs> what if I just force you to eat the most vile creation ever? Watch this, Riz. I didn't go too well. What if you cook that in the microwave? I'm gonna cook this in the microwave. Don't do that to me. See how bad, look how bad it looks. Let's interview the pedestrians. Anthony, how are we feeling about this challenge? About this challenge, bro, it's gonna be f I don't know if this is gonna go the way that I intended. Because what, what if I get sick from this? What if they make me sick? No. <laughs> no. Frisky's prime fillets with ocean white fish and tuna. It's either this or something else. Are, are you trying to win this competition or make me sick? <laughs> Both. Little do they know, there's another plot twist. Meatballs, but just just meatballs. But you're gonna make meatballs, bro. But what if I just make meatballs? I'll probably need this after, uh... After they uh, give me this so I don't throw up. We got a chocolate bar here. I'm done. I just... I didn't buy it. I checked. It's $9.17. I'm done. And now I'm just gonna shop for myself. How does it make you feel? I, I, can I borrow that 80 cents? Yes. I have a question. If yes. I have a stop and shop card and it gives me a discount, does that technically oh. count as going under? I think you'll be good then, if you, if you get a discount for it. Oh, okay. Uh, He's got a stop and shop card. Can we make you do the cinnamon challenge? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. It was very cost effective. This one. Oh, yeah. We might have to put the cake strews back. They hit the budget. I'm proud of them. Zoom in on Anthony. Zoom in on Anthony. Along with your meal, you will have to incorporate two side dishes. Side dishes slash snacks. That's it. That's the bombshell. Ow! That hurt. Ow! Both guys just yelling at it. Are you ready to see the side dishes? I can work with this. Is, is this included? <laughs> is he the audience? That, that's a guest judge. What we're gonna do is we're gonna spin a wheel and you guys are gonna get, be put in yeah. some order and then when you go in that order, you have to pick one of the meals. So first, we have a frozen bagel with butter and prunes. On our second one, we have kettle cooked jalapeno cheddar, 40% less fat, Lay's chips, 
and Lady's Baked. Then for a third meal, or side dish, my bad, we have Doritos and Miss Vicky's. For our fourth one, we have Kettle Cooked Original and a uh, uh, Nature Valley Bar, my bad. And then you have popcorn with some peanuts. For our sixth and final meal, we have a piece of Tully chicken and a bunch of sauces. You don't have to use every sauce, but you have to use at least every type of sauce. Ketchup, barbecue, and soy. But something we should be concerned about is the bagel. Uh, the bagel is probably around six months old. <laughs> so, three, one, two. Hey Siri, pick a number from one to three. Random number between one and three is one. <laughs> Going with the Tully chicken. Okay. Wow, that's possibly the worst. Alright, I have to eat that. Eat this. <laughs> You're putting the Literally. sauces on the chicken. Hey Siri, pick a number from one to three. A random number between one and three is three. I'm gonna go with this. Okay. Hey Siri, <laughs> pick a number between one and three. A random number between one and three is three. Yes. Three again. I'm gonna take this. More chips. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and two. Random number between one and two is one. What? <laughs> yeah. The popcorn is expired too, I think. <laughs> this chicken does not look okay. All right, All right let's go. Uh, I'm Chef Uppy, if uh, none of you were aware. I am a uh, professional chef from uh, Nicaragua. Um, I've also uh, dabbled a little bit in uh, race car driving, uh, but I kept the same name, Chef Uppy, just to uh, keep it consistent. I've won uh, many awards, uh, including uh, the Kids' Choice Awards for uh, a lifetime, uh, lifetime, lifetime Kids' Choice Award. Award. Lifetime Achievement Award um, between uh, me, uh, Dan Snyder, and uh, Optimus Prime. <laughs> well, uh, let's try not to start a fire uh, in here again. <laughs> I make no promises. He set off the fire alarms here, and uh, we all had to evacuate the building. Did you get pulled? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely burning. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh! A bull! You turn the fan off. Oh. It smells disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the camera can see it, but this air is so thick right now. <laughs> There's really only some bird parts. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think it's only a little. <laughs> Take a bite. Take a bite. <laughs> oh, we got like radiation poison. We're having our first meal here. But this, low key, let's, let's have a try. The peanuts really add flavor. Like, I would eat this. Like, this is a meal I would eat. 4.5 for a taste. Creativity, this has got to be like a 4. I'm scoring it right now. That's good. Presentation, it's a little messy. I'll give it a 2. I refuse to try the popcorn. Just one bite. How about two? You, you just got three zeros with that one, unfortunately. So now you gotta do something interesting with that bagel. I do, I do. Literally. Fun fact, he used to wanna be a chef. I did used to wanna be a chef. I was crazy to remember that. That was like, my- You said it for like 10 years. That was my lifelong dream. Then I gave up on that and decided to join the business world. I realized I wasn't good at making popcorn, so. <laughs> Disgusting! Disgusting. Popcorn! Cat the easiest thing! The Cat easiest cook. thing to cook! I'm sorry, chef. Drop down and give me five right now! Do I have- Go. There's bird right popcorn now. on the floor. Right now! Disgusting. That's five, chef. <laughs> One more! <laughs> One more! <laughs> <laughs> Technically, part three of Vin's meal. <laughs> well, we're gonna start off with the prune. It makes it worse because it's warm. Got one? <laughs> no, no, I will not eat it. No. <laughs> You should feel ashamed of yourself right now, Chef. <laughs> chef, chef. chef, I found blue food coloring. I'm gonna put in the ragu. Only red 40. Chef, I found the red 40, Chef. How did you not go over budget with this? The only things I bought was the can of soup was like $1.50. That was three bucks. And this was this was three bucks. And then this was like another dollar fifty, which put me at like 10.23. It's not definite yet, but I'm getting like 7.5 out of 15. That is, like, that is not fair. <laughs> I may reconsider the score once I uh, taste the other contestant's food. Um, if I'm able to eat this contestant's food because he is cooking in a non-microwave safe bowl. No! I am done. It's alright. He's done. So, for our appetizers, we have a variety of chips. Then, for the super salad, I decided to, I elected soup. But not just any soup. Paw Patrol soup. Boy, boy. Look at me, minute. Then we move over to our main course of variety. We have some chicken nuggets, we have some mac and cheese, we have some corn. And for dessert, we have uh, a pie and 
brownies with sprinkles that you can add as you wish. I just thought that was a nice presentation. If you'd like more, they're there for you. Here, I gotta start with the appetizers, right? We gotta try each chip. I don't even know what's, I think this is the jalapeno one. Definitely spicy. This chip could be chippier. Are we cheating? It's f salt! Oh my God, I am freaking out. Oh my God. Disqualified. Never do it again. I think we'll let it slide for now. Let's get back to trying Chef. Chef DJ. Chef DJ's meal. You never asked what my chef name was. <laughs> I don't want to. Could be a little um, less so chipper. Now this right here, this is uh, very chippy, very chippy. The chippiest of all these chips, to be honest with you. I'm looking at this. Oh, it's hot. It's got a hot pie right now. That's a good pie right there, sir. Why couldn't you make a pie like this? So I wasn't given a pie. I was given <laughs> expired food. Next bite with the goldfish this time. Thank you, chef. Why aren't they dino nuggies? Why are they not dinosaurs? Because one pack of dino nuggies is more than $10. Are we I'm gonna be honest, I do have high hopes for this. I can get behind a mac and cheese like this. <laughs> this is cake? No, it's brownie. I like the prune more than that. Corn was always the best part of the kids' cuisine. No flavor. That's what came in the box. Out of spite? I'm gonna eat all of this corn. Just say the soup might cool off. Is this soup? No, it's corn. This is corn, and not soup. F your corn. I'm gonna have your Campbell soup. Picky up. I think this one's Sky. That's Marshall. I believe I what right. you just I had is Marshall. Right. You... Is this a uh, Chase? That right there is Chase. I knew it. Let's kind of make a zoom on Chase. You know what? Join me. I'm honored, Chef. I'm seeing some favoritism. <laughs> he gives you a prepackaged meal and bribes you with cartoon animals. Wait, 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 wait let me take a look at this. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. None of it is burnt. Oh, oh, wow. I gotta say, okay. Chef, this is the best Paw Patrol soup I've ever had. <laughs> the fact that this is a kid's cuisine, I do have to give it a zero for creativity, unfortunately. Corn, flavorless. The nuggies were fine, taste-wise. Mac and cheese, very solid. This is genuinely disgusting. Like, 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 like it's not good. Aside, it is really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> no, that was bad. Rick. I do have to take some points off the fact that almost everything was prepackaged here, but honestly, that is some excellent <coughs> creativity. I would have never thought about that. And the fact that you managed to fit all the chips without them spilling into each other, that's some creative, like, genius stuff right there. That obviously gets a five for me. The that's soup was fun. That, that's a bad rating. Did you ever even watch Paw Patrol? No. This is ridiculous. You're between a 7.5 and an 8. That is mostly just chips separated by dividers. <laughs> Genius. Chips separated by dividers. It's working! It's working! Who gave Chef Vin access to my ingredients? That, that was not in there previously. <laughs> in all my years of chefing, I've never been disrespected as much as right now. Ever. <laughs> it's not that deep. Seven. What? <laughs> no. That is such... Yes. What am I gonna do? I have three chefs in there that are disrespectful, rude. <laughs> hey Siri, what happens if you cook in a non-microwavable safe bowl? Hey, uh, I just have some questions for you, if uh, you're okay with that. So uh, we're just trying to figure out some uh, predictions for um, our uh, uh, chef off. Uh, we're currently uh, three chefs are competing with each other. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm a chef uppy, by the way. Mm -hmm. I studied in uh, Uruguay for uh, seven years. Oh, Uruguay. And uh, I'm also a race car driver. Oh, yeah, of course. Yep. You're of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, helps the resume. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Chef uh, Riggs. We have uh, Chef uh, DJ and Chef uh, Vin. So um, we're uh, coming around and asking people uh, who they think is going to have the best meal. Well, Judging by the fire alarm going off during Sham Jam, Chef DJ being the cause of this, I'm pretty sure. Whoa, 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 we have to throw uh, Chef Vin under the bus too there. Oh, he, oh, he was, oh was he present? Oh, he was so present. He was present. He was so they clearly can't cook for shit. So that would be Chef Riggs' winning this whole thing. Chef, uh, Chef Riggs, he's, he's got his vote. Thank you for your contributions. Of course, of course. We appreciate you, we appreciate Thank you. you. Would you be interested in participating in a quick interview? 
Oh, just to introduce myself, uh, I'm Chef Uppy. Um, I studied uh, chefing in uh, Uruguay for seven years, and I'm also a professional race car driver. So um, currently, I have a uh, chef off going on between uh, three chefs um, Chef Riggs, Chef DJ, and Chef Vin. Who do you predict is going to win? Chef DJ. Chef DJ's got his vote. So the only one who didn't get a vote is Chef Vin. Let's go back to the kitchen. Thank you. As we walked by, they locked the door. We got some predictions on who's going to win the entire thing. We have one vote for Chef DJ. We have one vote for Chef Reeks. We have zero votes for Chef <laughs> <laughs> It's blue. It's not bad. It's not bad. <laughs> I got one for creativity. I tried. As your main course, we have uh, Spaghetti and I made the ball and I made it blue for some reason over here. We have an experimental dish um, Tully chicken with barbecue sauce ketchup and soy sauce and then we have uh, a palate cleanser with your <laughs> nature, nature Valley. And then we have our final dessert, which is a banana and some chips enjoy <laughs> the best thing you Does your palate feel cleansed? <laughs> It barely tastes the blue. It seems like it's been sitting out for. <laughs> Where's the spikes coming from? I don't know. Or oh, fudgy the whale. Oh, I love that. It's fudgy the whale. Ew. I now see my mistake. Bro, right, this one is spicy too. Nobody ever asked me my chef name. <laughs> <laughs> I am the one chef without a name. What's your chef name? Chef. Does that describe your meal? <laughs> no, that describes. My mentality when cooking. Do you want me to put food coloring on the banana? <laughs> no, please. Yeah, this one's out. Oh, <laughs> Honestly, it looks perfect, but it's a little bit on the uh, on the starchy side. I say we do this again <laughs> next week, but we have to bake a cake. <laughs> hair cake? Hair. What is hair cake? <laughs> I don't know. By iDubbbz, Maxi Mofo, and How To Basic. Would you care to explain? Is that the one where they throw up in the cake? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, I know that one. What, what is <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for your rating? The pasta is, is better than I expected it to be. The fact that you can't see the sauce is a creative choice. I actually uh, I think it's pretty interesting. You did give me blue balls, so I'm not a big fan of that, but um, I do appreciate that uh, there was some creativity added. Um, I like the fact you split the chicken up into three. Um, I would have appreciated if it was warm. Uh, I also did like the palate cleanser. Uh, it tasted really good. Um, weak. I'm feeling a 7.5. So that leaves us all at a 7.5. Whose meal did I like the most? So let's talk about the negatives of everyone. Burnt. <laughs> lack of creativity. <laughs> and Alex, uh, I, th I think the, um, the taste is where it lacked the most. Honestly, that was the best tasting thing here, though. That's the number oh, one, dude. number one <laughs> meal of the night. Number two meal of the night. The cherry pie. That's the chip really pie taste. was incredibly creative. That was, you know, some, like, Logan Paul type stuff. I mean, um, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, Leonardo da Vinci. Third place. We have Chef First place. I'm not, I'm not doing no like Steve Harvey. Are we ready to hear the first place winner? Let's put your arm down. <laughs> All judges vote that chef <laughs> DJ! Yeah! 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 No! You get Thank you, the chef. ultimate prize of winner. What? <laughs> what? No, that is so not so fair. The middle. That is so rigged. Chef, it was a great competition. I, I, I love the guy. Uh, we have an unspoken. No, you're right. We don't do that. You failed me! You know what? I want to answer. No, this is too I much. have to. I have to. You get. This is nuts, man. <laughs> 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 looks like a dumb man. Thanks for joining me on this journey. <laughs>